kitsetai kisubi logoywek choto kitab Colentin asikobit keibun en logoywek choto kimiten tai ingistoenge noton ole kagomuch motwet noto ga nebo riena metabo soya en emoni nebo ECC ko anan noto mornet nebo Rift Valley murotai kowek imbaret nemwat kile kimuchi anum korab kongeten eunek ab kibagengeit neribe tiongik ab timin nebo Kenya Wildlife Service kosubke ak director nebo ECC en South Rift Ignatius Wekesa nekaita mbara noto ko kubisa ikab kalet ko kamwa kule mbara noto ak mengotit nemiten en ganaset nebo kericho kobo oliet ne ito milion arta magangwan ne en tai ko kimenye uvisaya geche iten chubo Kenya Wildlife Service kamwa kule miten alak in mengotusha kiko ipik anum mche mengishe en yoto en ngune ko en ngune kebendi kegeregele kagimuch kewek mbaroni choto agorik tukul choto chemenye biga boror che namu kibagenget noto nebo Kenya Wildlife Service anan KWS the land belonging to Kenya Wildlife Service senior officers camp here in Kericho, uh, plot number 631 stroke 169, uh, which has about 2.5 acres of land, valued at 400 million shillings. The commission received information that this land, which was being used, which houses, uh, has uh, houses for senior officers of Kenya Wildlife Service had been grabbed by private, priv uh, private developers and as a commission who have the mandate to carry out investigation on asset recovery, we had to launch investigations and had to move to court to get the court order, preservation court order, which we received on uh, 31st of July 2024, barring anybody from developing this place or doing anything to do with this particular camp until we finish investigation and file the main asset recovery suit in court and then it is heard and concluded in the environment and land court here in Kericho. Uh, this land was grabbed by senior or government officials and some are private businessmen. They are, we cannot disclose their names at this juncture for reasons because of uh, investigations and what we are saying is that uh, clearly from what you can see here you can see that this land belongs to government it has government houses it was housing senior wardens and deputy wardens but people are now occupying them in their private capacity